In this video, we are gonna talk about outside air vents. They come with many other names, fresh air intake, outside air kit, but it's all for the same purpose, to bring fresh air into your wood stove. So if you need to know why you need one and what it is, continue watching. If you wanna skip forward to the part where I show you how I put mine together and how you can build your own, go ahead and click on this timestamp. Your wood burner needs air to burn, go figure. Remember the combustion triangle, you need fuel, you need heat or spark, and you need oxygen. We think about the fuel part all the time. Do I, did I cut enough wood for this season? Is this wood dry enough? Do I have enough to last? But we don't think about the oxygen very much. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Whether you know it or not, your wood stove is drawing air from somewhere. There are only two possible locations it can pull air from inside your house and outside your house. So the outside air vent becomes important for two reasons. Number one, let's talk about the quality of your burn. Now, if you were like me, you might think when you shut the door, the fire keeps going, you think it's probably fine, right? Well, yeah, your fire keeps going, but you might not be getting the most efficient, hottest, healthy burn that you can get. The purpose of this outside air vent is to provide your wood stove with that very cold, dense, oxygen rich air, which is going to give you the most efficient burn to make the most use of that firewood that you've worked so hard for. Believe me, I know. Here's the second reason this outdoor air vent may be very important for you. Let's talk about the air inside your living space. If you are allowing your wood stove to passively draw air from inside your living space, that air has to be replaced. And guess where it's gonna come from? it's gonna come from outside. So you're turning your already heated living space into a channel where cold air is gonna flow through. Your wood stove is gonna make use of every gap, every crack, every poorly sealed window, every improperly hung door, and every poorly installed outlet. Even though the air is only seven degrees outside, they're all gonna say, come on in, it's okay. We need you to be in here. So by now, hopefully you're convinced you probably need one. Now, I don't even own this house. I'm actually a renter here, but after I found out about this and I realized how important it was, I used my own time and money to install one in this house. We finally made it to the installation part. So here's where we'll build one and install it very simply. Thankfully, Kuma, which is the manufacturer of my wood stove, put a nice four inch diameter hole on the back of the ash box. And I'm assuming that many other manufacturers have also installed that. If you don't have a hole in the back of yours, you can probably cut one, but do a little bit of research before you do that just to make sure you're putting it in the right spot. Do you know what else is commonly found inside your house that is conveniently four inches in diameter? Dryer vents. That's right, dryer vents are the exact same size as outside air vents for your wood stove and you can use the exact same parts to build it and that's what I did with mine. If you choose to buy parts from Home Depot and build it yourself, it'll cost you about this much and if you choose to buy a kit from Amazon, it'll cost you about this much. There is only one small catch and that is you'll probably need to purchase a four inch diameter hole saw. That is not a size that is commonly found in most kits and it's probably something you don't have laying around. So that's gonna cost you between 20 and $40. But you only need four parts for this whole thing. You need the outside vent that's gonna come with a length of tubing attached. You need this mill coupler. You need a length of flex tubing and you need two pipe clamps. And you only need four tools. You need a drill. You need the hole saw, you need a screwdriver. I think Phillips or Flathead would work for this. And you need a pair of tin snips. If the four inch hole is already in the back of your wood stove, you really don't have that much work to do. The hardest part is cutting the hole in your wall. Do a little bit of figuring, do a little bit of math, make sure you're doing it at the right spot and you're not gonna hit a stud. Now you can see on mine, it's not perfect. I drilled my first one a little bit too low. I wasn't accounting for that piece of wood at the bottom. That's okay, I can easily cover that up with trim. The second part is to use that short coupler. All you have to do is make a series of snips about probably one inch apart going all the way around on one end. You're gonna take that end, you're gonna slide it into your wood stove, put your hand inside and bend all those tabs around. That's what's gonna keep that coupler fastened inside of your wood stove. After that, all you have to do is run your flex pipe and tighten it down with your pipe clamps. Be careful when you're running that flex pipe 
they do not build those to be durable. And there you have it. Installing an outside air vent into your wood stove is going to give you a hotter, more efficient burn inside of your wood stove, and it's going to reduce drafts inside your house. Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting, entertaining, or educational in any way, please hit that like button. If you want more content like this, building your best life inside, building your best life living in the woods, consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. And you need a couple of pipe, pli pipe, pipe clamps, pipe. Ah, oh, you can hear the mice running around in my roof. I like it there because of the chimney, keeps them warm. <clears throat> it's warm right here, it's really warm right here. Oh my gosh, that's a hot, healthy fire.